Hey you guys, so <coughs> I'm going to quickly do a tutorial on how to use these uh, pom-pom makers by Clover. Um, I'm going to be doing the 1 and 3 8 inch diameter pom-pom. Now, there's directions on the inside of this, but they're kind of, I don't know, I, I was really confused by the directions. Um, and I found a tutorial on how to use these little guys on YouTube, but there wasn't very many, and the quality of the one that I found kind of sucked. So I'm going to do one to add so that people can see and maybe get some help out of it. So this is the one and three eighths inch pom pom. This is with um, yellow acrylic yarn um, by Impeccables, or it's called Impeccables. I don't know who it's by, but um, I guess because they have multiple brand lines, but whatever. Um, you're gonna need your pom pom maker, obviously. Some thread. This is um, button or carpet thread. It's um, relatively thick. Um, it's thicker than um, regular sewing thread. Some nice sharp scissors. And then of course your yarn. <coughs> Sorry, my lips are chapped. So what you're going to do is you're going to open up your pom-pom maker like so. Well, I just do one side at a time. So you're going to do one side at a time. I'm going to move my yarn down here so it doesn't fall off my desk. And you're going to wrap your yarn so that the end is secure around the two arms. Hook the other. And then what I like to do so that there's not a little piece dangling is I like to wrap my tail around. This is my tail and I like to wrap it around and then again secure it on there by wrapping your yarn around it somewhere and then I scooch it all the way to the end. This little bunch of yarn, I always scooch to the this end because this end is always the harder to get to um, with the yarn. So you're then you're just going to wrap, oops, wrap, 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 wrap. And then when you get to the other end, make sure that you get it, get enough yarn in there so that you don't have a funny shaped pom pom. Now I kind of, I wind mine really tight like I pull my yarn really tight um, so that I get a fuller pom-pom and then you're just going to wind it around the arms however you feel you need to eh. until it's to in the, until it's level with these two little pieces that stick out from the arms. Then you're going to close it and then you're going to cut your yarn about halfway like so. Make sure you don't use that lose that little tail. And then you're going to do the same thing with the other side. And then after your yarn is wrapped around your um, your pom pom maker, you're going to take your scissors. Now I like to start from this end where the joint is, and remember how there were little slits in the side. We're going to stick your scissors in there and cut through those ridges like so. 
and you're going to do this on both sides. Um, if you have stronger scissors than I do, um, this will go a lot faster, but these are the only sharp scissors that I had that were small enough to fit between the ridges. So I'm just going to cut this in Alright, now that our yarn is cut, um, we can tie it off. Now don't pull these arms out now. If you do, then you will um, have a bunch of little itty bitty pieces of yarn flying everywhere. So here I already have a piece of string um, that I doubled up. I tied it at the end, like so. Um, and then you're just going to take your pom-pom maker and slip the string in between the two uh, arms. Now, you want it to be as tight as possible. You don't want to see the string sitting right here. That means it's not tight enough and your pom-pom will fall apart. Um, now, I like to do a surgeon's knot, which uh, here is when you... Um, is when you go over like so once and then you do it a second time and then just tighten it and then do a regular square knot now I like to do this knot because one surgeons use it to tie stitches and thus is a more superior knot than just a regular square knot so after that I like to trim my pom-pom before I, I take the arms off. It just makes life easier for me. Um, I usually find that um, there's a ring around my pom-pom where the, um, the outer, most outer pieces of yarn when I wound it are a bit longer than the rest of them. So I just trim where those pieces would be while it's still wrapped around the arms. And then I do extra trimming afterward. Alright, so I'm going to take off the arms now. Sorry, I saw one. Um, I'm going to take off the arms now, and you're just going to pull it, and then pull this. Now, you're probably sitting there wondering how the hell I'm going to get this pom-pom out of here since I just tied a piece of string around it. Well, magic. It comes apart. Um, so just untangle your, your string from there. And then just kind of shake out your pom-pom. And like I said, look at all the stragglers. But that's basically what it is, um, how you use it. Just trim up your yarn, make it into a ball, however the, or whatever shape you want. Um, and then do what you want with it. Um, so the reason why I decided to get a set of these is because I suck at making pom-poms. Like, I suck hard at making pom-poms. Um, the normal way, where you get a piece of square cardboard, you wrap it around, and you tie the string around it, and you cut all the, all the little pieces. I suck at that. So, and I love pom-poms, so I decided I was going to get one of these pom-pom makers. Well, I didn't decide. I actually was going to get a needle, and I saw them, and I was like, holy crap, this is awesome. So, I hope you find this as awesome as I do. I think it's pretty freaking cool. Pretty freaking cool. Um, so, yeah, I hope you go try them out. The brand is Clover. Those are the only ones that I saw at Hobby Lobby. Um and Joann's. So yeah. But um, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I'm sorry it's not clay again. There, I have a clay one coming up. It's the mica shift like I told you, like I guys told you about. Like I told you guys about. A but clay ones take a little bit more setting up um, than yarn does. So I'll probably do that one tomorrow and then post it sometime later this week for you guys. Because I love you guys so much. But anyway. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. 
Have fun making pom-poms. <laughs> and happy crafting.